New Peugeot Traveler 2017 Review Peugeot is pitching the Traveler as the upmarket alternative to rivals on the same platform, but how does it stack up as a classy MPV? Verdict 4 Star Peugeot's pushed up market with the Traveler and it shows, with a comfortable interior packed with equipment. It's spacious, too, and as a high-end executive bus it competes pretty well with the VW Caravelle. But it's just a little too expensive to make it the best big MPV choice. Seven-seat people carriers have plenty of appeal but if you have a large family or are a taxi driver, little beats the outright carrying capacity of a van. The Peugeot Traveler is the eight-seat MPV version of the Peugeot Expert van, and shares a lot of parts and design elements with the Citroën Space Tourer and Toyota Pro As Verso. However, the Traveler is aimed at buyers who want a little more luxury in their eight-seater. Even entry-level active trim gets plenty of goodies like dual-zone climate control, cruise control, automatic lights, and wipers, and a slick 7-inch infotainment system offering Bluetooth and DAB connectivity. Our Allure model added to this with electric and heated front seats, a panoramic glass roof, a heads-up display, xenon headlights, and keyless entry. Sat NAV is a 240 pounds option, but Allure models do get leather trim to add to the luxury feel. The interior is well designed and trimmed in fairly high-end materials, but the Traveler can't match the Volkswagen Caravelle for interior quality, so for those without lofty aspirations a mid-spec model should do just fine. Our standard wheelbase model had ample space for 6-foot passengers in all three rows. It also offered a hefty 640-liter boot space even with all seats in position, but that space is tall and very shallow so it isn't quite as useful as the numbers suggest. Removing the bulky seats is no easy operation, but if you manage to heave them out you'll be rewarded with a capacity of 3,200 liters of space up to the window line. That's truly, and unsurprisingly, van-like. On the move is where the case for a more car-like people carrier starts to make sense. Though there's plenty of adjustment in the seat and steering wheel, the driving position is resolutely upright and won't suit drivers with very long legs. The cavernous interior amplifies road and wind noise, making for a fairly noisy ride at speed, although the soft suspension means it's comfortable even without a load in the rear. Performance from the 148BHP 2.0 liter diesel isn't sparkling, but it's got strong in-gear pace. It's just a shame the six-speed gearbox has such a loose, baggy action, as we've seen in many of Peugeot's smaller cars. The Traveler is largely easy to drive, though, with great all-round visibility courtesy of that high-set driving position. It feels smaller on the road than its size too, with a surprisingly tight turning circle. It even handles tidily enough, although the steering is very vague and requires a laborious four turns from lock to lock. Unlike the Toyota Pro As Verso and the Citroën Space Tourer, Peugeot won't be offering the Traveler in a more basic trim level, so list prices seem a little high next to those vans. There isn't a 9-seater version on offer, either. Look at it next to the Volkswagen Caravelle and things start to stack up a little better though. To nab a comparably equipped VW you'd be spending well in excess of £40,000 making the Peugeot's £36,985 seem decent value. But if you don't need the extra seat, you can look in the other direction. A top-spec Citroën Grand C4 Picasso still offers space for seven adults, albeit not for long journeys, a comfortable ride and efficient engines plus far superior refinement and driving dynamics for under £30,000. Key Specs Model, Peugeot Traveler Allure STD Blue Ehdi 150 Price, £36,985 Engine 2.0 liter turbo diesel power slash torque 148 bhp slash 370 nm transmission six speed manual front wheel drive 0 to 62 miles per hour 11.0 seconds top speed 106 miles per hour economy slash co2 53.3 mpg slash 139 g slash km 
on sale now.